absolute biggest expense while living in the Philippines. I just can't do without it. Seriously, we just got our electric bill. Our first month back in the Philippines. It's enough to make some expats heads swim. We just got our electric bill. I'll talk a little bit about one of the biggest expenses that we incur while we're here in the Philippines, and that's uh, electricity. Um, let me benchmark this whole conversation by starting with the fact that, you know, we built our house uh, several years ago. We started building this house several years ago. We've still got some things to do. So we don't have any costs. Uh, we don't have any housing costs. So our biggest expense next to food is electricity. And because we uh, we choose to live uh, in comfort, we run three air conditioners. I got uh, one here in the man cave, and we've got two units in the house. Get a big one. Uh, I can't remember what the uh, BTU size is on this one here, but it pretty much covers the whole kitchen and living area. And then we have one in the bedroom. And for the most part, these air conditioners run uh, one or all of them. Usually, usually at least two of them are running a good part of the day. We shut off the main house air conditioning at uh, at night and just run the bedroom air conditioner and leave the bedroom door open. Uh, so that cold air spills out into the house. So we run two air conditioners, basically. Uh, one in the man cave while I'm in there. Sometimes I can turn it off. It stays cold enough. It, I can turn it off and just uh, live on a fan. <clears throat> but back to the uh, expenses. The biggest expense, our cost, is electric. Uh, and we choose to pay that bill. Yeah, because it keeps us comfortable. Now, if you want to maintain a Western diet here, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So we pretty much survive on a hybrid diet, Filipino and hybrid cooking. Uh, but we like to eat out a lot, and we do like to travel. And of course, we live in Guam, so um, we, we still have to watch our spend. But electric number one cost in the Philippines. If you're moving to, uh, there are higher cost of living areas in the Philippines. Um, if you're moving to, say, Angeles City, maybe Dumaguete, um, not quite sure about the vowel. I, I know Samar. Samar is a relatively low cost of living area, except for electricity. We're paying, uh, I figured it out the other day, we're paying 28 cents US dollars 28 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, that sounds like a lot to some people if you're comparing that rate to some places in the United States. Um, if you get into the uh, Tennessee Valley area where the TVA or Tennessee Valley Authority runs the uh, electrical grid, you're looking at, you know, 13 to 19 cents per kilowatt hour. If you go to California, you're looking at about 40 cents or maybe even 42 on Guam where we live it just got jacked up to 42 cents per kilowatt hour but there's a fix coming for that but so anyway here in the Philippines it's 28 cents per kilowatt hour which is not exorbitant a lot of people complain about the cost of electricity here but 28 cents per kilowatt hour is not that bad And we use various electronics, uh, including a wide array of kitchen appliances, a microwave, uh, a couple computers, cell phones, chargers, lights, fans, the average uh, stuff that most people use, but it's mostly the air conditioners. The fancy washing machine soaks some of it up, and we've got two hot water heaters in the house. 
So electric costs are the number one expense here in the Philippines. Man, I'd spend even more money if there was a way to, to uh, use electricity to kill mosquitoes. Oh, wait. You know, it used to be years ago, um, to pay this electric bill, we had to drive clear to the other side of Calbayag, down to Santa Margarita. It's about a 40 minute drive. Then you had to stand in line for an hour. And for those of you who use coins.ph, it's a convenient way to pay electric bills in some areas, not all areas. Uh, I think Morocco, uh, some of the other electric co-ops will accept uh, money transfers through coins.ph. And now you can use Gcash. So, my nephew happens to have a Gcash electric bill station, whatever you call them. So, I'm heading there to pay this bill. that way. Farm on that break. Hey, Andy. I ain't seen you in a long time. How you been? Been okay? Yeah. It's been like many years. <laughs> Good to see you. I put you on YouTube. I put you on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. The like a like G cash station. Hey, I need to pay my electric bill. Or I can rob you. Can I rob you? Stick him up. Give me all your Gcash. I want all your Gcash. <laughs> ah, I'm going in. So what do you got going on here? How do you keep all this stuff dry when it rains? I keep all this dry when it rains. Huh? It's safe when it rains? How can it be safe? We got blowing rain. How about that? How Oh, you got tarps. Wow. You got a whole storefront going on here. Gcash. I want to pay my electric bill with Gcash. I can do that, right? Yes. Okay. How much you charge? Just 30 pesos only. 30? 30 pesos? 20 pesos for me and 10 pesos for charge from Gcash for transaction. So it cost me 30 pesos. That's cheaper than driving to Santa Margarita. Yeah, if you're going to Calbayo, you're just you're going to ride about... 20 minutes and fall in line and uh, you have to pay. And I remember going to Smelco, Santa Margarita. We stay in line for one hour. Mm, see? Yeah. Just here about uh, 10 seconds. Oh, you got Wi Fi scanning yes. around? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me see. So if somebody wants to get Wi Fi, they pay you five pesos to put that code in and it gives them two hours of Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in the brown guy. Yes. Oh. And you have 10 pesos for. Four hours and thirty pesos for one day, fifty pesos for two days, and one hundred pesos for one week. Wow! Free? I take the free. <laughs> and you, if you buy to me, uh, if you buy, if you bought a uh, uh, one hundred pesos of voucher, you have a one free uh, voucher. For how long? Uh, two hours. Two hours. Mm -hmm. Free two hours. Mm -hmm. Spend hundred pesos, you get free two hours. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a deal. You get 50 pesos voucher. You have a sticker, like a like sticker. Like a like sticker. Yeah. Wow. Okay, 
So you have your own little internet cafe going on here. You got two computers. One, two. And that's my old computer up there in the corner. Which doesn't work. What happened to that computer down there? Is not working? It's not working. Oh. So you got two working. You need more computers, huh? You stay busy? You do. Okay, so tell me again, what do you do? Uh, I sell uh, bills, home credit, fill products, Samilco, uh, water calbayo, LPG, and other bills from your house, and and I don't know, water pressure. Pressure washer. Water pressure water, ID Xerox, brush ID, photocopy, Xerox, and. No wonder I never see you. Hmm? No wonder I never see you. <laughs> Always working. Always working, okay. Yeah. This is Jerick's car wash. Mm -hmm. Complete with uh, rainwater. Huh? So what do you do, Jerick? How do you do it? Um, this one is a machine. You're yeah. gonna suck, I... suck the water and you're gonna high pressure there. Okay. And there's a machine here yeah. that counts. If you're gonna insert five pesos, you're gonna, you have uh, two minutes water pressure to clean your motor for two minutes. So five pesos for two minutes. Yes. You're gonna show me how it works. All right, let's see what. This one here. Yeah. See that? The red light zero. Okay. Yeah. And if you insert the coin there. Five pesos. If you if you before you insert the coin, you have to hold this. Otherwise, it'll go like Most, yes. crazy. Yeah. Like a fire hose. Okay, go ahead. It's instant, huh? You a lot, of, a lot of people doing that? Yeah. yeah. My nephew, he's so ingenious. He even delivers propane. You deliver propane, LPG. Yeah. But how about water? Too big, no? No. Okay. There's so many people selling here now. Oh. Another sorry, sorry store. Oh, hello, how are you? I'm gonna take a long way. We bought an extra half block. Sorry, sorry, stupid. Sorry, sorry, stupid. Sorry, sorry, stupid. <laughs> hey. Cat, duck, and just like that, I'm home. I really should ride that bike more often, but man, I've been stuck in the house. It's been raining a lot here. I think we've been here four weeks and uh, that's how much it's rained.